Panthers. Panthers. I'm Chip Baldwin. And I'm Logan Eby. And welcome back to another episode of PTV Sports. Let's get right into the news. It was a tough loss for football last week as they came up a little short against Golden Valley and lost 27-55. The boys, took a, the boys looked to bounce back tonight in a special Thursday night district matchup against St. Bonaventure. If you get a chance, head up to Ventura College to support the Panthers tonight. The freshman team also plays St. Bonaventure tonight as they look to remain undefeated on the year. If you can't catch any of those games, come watch JV play Camarillo tomorrow for. Also, congrats to Tyson Lundring for being voted High School Football Player of the Week. Keep up the good work. Varsity Tennis lost 4-14 at their match on Tuesday. Varsity Girls Volleyball also took an unfortunate loss to Westlake in three sets. Congratulations to Boys Beach Volleyball as we took the top spot in Marmani League for both JV and Varsity and the girls cross country for being ranked 24th and the boys sealing up the number one spot in the United States. This past week, our boys water polo defeated Westlake in overtime with the winning goal scored by Toby Jomsky. You know, while we're on the topic of water polo, Jackson got to sit down and talk with some of the members of the team. Let's go take a look. Water polo is a fast-paced sport in the water. The game is four quarters long and consists of seven players on the field for each team, one goalie and six field players. The game consists of six players swimming up and down the pool with a ball, treading water to try to score a goal or defend their own. The goalie, however, is the only player allowed to use two hands. Water polo is a very competitive sport and our boys water polo team is no exception. What I like about playing goalie is that it's unique compared to uh, the different positions in water polo. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's a lot less ball handling and more blocking the ball, but out of just blocking the ball, there's a lot of communication that I have to have with the team, a lot of good chemistry I have to have with all the players. I have to tell them where to go. I just love the chemistry we have on the team. We're all just a bunch of guys messing around, having fun. It's just a group of friends. You know, we make goals at the beginning of the season, and. We like to try to stick to them, although some of them are fun, some of them are real, you know, we try to make CIF every year. And then we just got some fun goals where we try to just enjoy each other's company. You know, it's great. You know, I met some really great people this year. We have a lot of great freshmen. And it, it's great for all the seniors, for all the seniors this year that uh, I've played with since I was a freshman for us to finally compete in our last season. Our boys water polo team would be nothing without their incredible coaching staff. Dave, Dave's a great coach, and we've had him for quite a while. Graham's our assistant coach. He's also not that bad. You know, we always enjoy a great coach on the team. We love Dave. Make sure to go check out a boys' water polo game before the season's over. I'm Jackson Harris, reporting for PTV. Thanks, Jackson, for a great look at water polo. If you want to see the team you just saw in action, you can catch them today at 3.15 and on Friday at the same time. Let's go, Panthers. And just a reminder to all athletes, in order to compete in a CIF sport, you must maintain a 2.0 GPA or higher. You know, it's been a couple of weeks since homecoming. And if you remember, in addition to all the special events and activities of homecoming, we saw something that made it especially memorable. The United States Army Golden Knights delivered the game ball from 5,000 feet. And our cameras were not only on the ground, but in the air as they made this special delivery. Check it out. Jump. I remember sitting in the back of an airplane, we were about 5,000 feet over the earth and I was just amazed at how amazing, how beautiful it was. Now being in the Army 15 years later, it just gives me thrills to come to represent the U.S. Army, to jump into high school football games, NFL games, flying across the country, meeting all the, all the, the kids and inspiring them to do what we do. afraid of heights. I was very afraid to do my first jump, but once I did it, the rewarding feeling of doing something that I was afraid of inspired me to continue down this path and keep addressing that fear. Because if you don't address your fear, it will consume your dreams.
What an absolutely incredible night, and one we will remember for quite a while. A special thanks to the U.S. Army Golden Knights and broadcasting student Jack Bernard for putting together the story for us. Sadly, Panthers, it is that time to go back to our third periods as this edition of PTV Sports comes to a close. See you next time, Panthers, and have a great weekend.